Hey, what's up? This is iPhone Coding, and uh, today we're going to do uh, a couple tutorials, including uh, Hello Beginner, Hello World Beginner, uh, we're going to do a Hello World Intermediate, and we're going to do a Hello World Advanced. And then after that, we're going to get into some real tutorials that are going to build some um, tester applications, but they're going to be real applications, not useless ones like other tutorials. And... Um, so we'll pretty much start from here, so make sure that you're paying attention, and uh, let's get started. Let me just delete this. Alright, and we're going to go to Xcode, just to note that I'm running Xcode version 3.2. Um, this video is actually coming before the tutorial that I'm posting about... Um, oh, no, no, it's not. Never mind. I already posted that. <laughs> okay, Xcode. Uh, file new project and make sure you click a view based application and we're gonna call this application hello world see now what's interesting about this application um, right off the bat is that once we clicked view based application in the iPhone uh, OS application template area um, it already generated um, an interface file for us and what that means is that it's uh, it's created an environment for us that's going to be extremely easy for us to build our GUI interface in uh, which basically means like all the graphics that the people see on the phone the, the cool controls the buttons the sliders um, the scroll views the table views all that stuff all that fancy jazz on iPhone uh, is all done pretty much through some code and animation uh, and through the iPhone interface builder. So let's get started. And we're going to do that by clicking on the resources folder. Let's expand this a little bit. And let's double click on Hello World View Controller. And as you can see, a couple windows have opened up for us in interface builder and right away you see a view you see a library um, window you see a view attributes window and you see a window that says hello world view controller dot xib which is actually your main window which holds the owner to your view controller and these two things we'll get to afterwards but this view is basically this view right here so um, for now all I want you to do is go to the library and select a item from the library or an object and pull it right onto the screen center it as good as you can and inside double click it and delete the text and write hello world put an exclamation point smiley face whatever you want and then if you want to do a little fancy jazz click on the background and change its color I'm gonna do mine to green and we can close this and then we can go to the text and we can make it a little bit more clear by changing it to white in my case and we will hit command s to save or you can just go to file save whatever you prefer and we can hit command q to quit and we can hit build and go at the top of our xcode project window so let's do that and it's automatically going to build all the files that we need um, to launch our complete product as you can see here it has built successfully as you can see that by the succeeded at the bottom of the Xcode project window to the bottom right and if you double click it it'll open a debugger window and you can see build succeeded and we'll get into this stuff later um, but for now, I basically just wanted to show you what the application would look like um, and how easy it is to actually build in the Xcode slash iPhone environment. Um, and here you go. So, hello world. It's output to the screen. You can go and you could change the colors. You could play with other attributes. 
you can um, you can do a lot of things. Um, one thing I didn't mention, and let's go back to it actually, is double click back on that file, which is the hello world view controller.xib. And that is that this is called your inspector window right here. And you can get to it by clicking command one. And what it does is basically have a couple, it has a couple panels. It has your attributes panel, it has your connections panel, it has your sizing panel, and it has your identity panel. And we're going to get into what all these things do, but I just wanted to get you familiar with it now. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions slash comments, just leave them below. And uh, in the next tutorial, we'll get to doing something a little bit more intermediate. So stay tuned, and I'll see you then. Thanks.